The family of one of the disappeared is waiting for the result of a DNA test carried out on a body discovered in County Wicklow. The remains may be those of Danny Michael Holm, who went missing from his home in West Belfast in 1981. Jane Lockery has this report. Here in a remote hillside in West Wicklow, work continues to unearth the remains of a body believed to be that of 19-year-old Danny McElhone, who disappeared from his West Belfast home in 1981. Searches were carried out here in 1999 and 2000 without success, but on Saturday, Gardaí say they unearthed a foot, a sock and a boot, which has led to the recovery of part of a body, which is now being forensically examined. The search was carried out under the authority of the Independent Commission for the Location of Victims' Remains, which tries to find the bodies of people murdered and secretly buried by the IRA. Danny McElhone was abducted and killed by the IRA because he was suspected of stealing some of their weapons. It was claimed he was killed in a struggle with the gunman who was guarding him. Oliver McVeigh, whose brother Columba was kidnapped by the IRA in Dublin in 1975, says he's pleased that the McElhone family may get their loved one's remains returned to them, but his brother's body has yet to be found. Obviously, they've been working on good information in his case, but, you know, we still need people to come forward and give the information, everybody that was involved, because the slightest bit of information, the most insignificant piece of information they might have, might be the biggest piece of information that the Commission needs. Columba McVeigh was only 17 when he disappeared. Oliver says his brother's abduction tore his mother, Vera, apart. She campaigned tirelessly to find him, meeting Ian Paisley, the then First Minister, in 2006. Tragically, she died in May last year without finding her son's body. She so went to her grave, a broken-hearted woman, but she didn't get him, I'm very I would urge Sinn Féin at the highest level, I mean at the very highest level, to make this their number one priority, that they were able to silence the guns and stop the troubles. No one from Sinn Féin was available for interview, but in a statement, Jerry Adams says the apparent discovery of Danny McElhone is evidence that Republicans continue to work diligently on this important issue. Four bodies have so far been recovered. One of the most high-profile cases was that of Jean McConville, a mother of ten who was abducted and murdered by the IRA in 1972. Her body was discovered buried in Shilling Hill Beach in August 2003. Eight people who were kidnapped and killed by the IRA between 1972 and 1986 have still to be found. The SDLP says those whom the IRA know are withholding information should be handed over to the authorities. The IRA have to give that information to the disappeared commission so that they can go ahead and do all that is necessary to ease the grief of so many families. One of the two independent commissioners for the disappeared says the team has been working very hard in atrocious conditions to find the people who are missing. Every so many weeks we meet you know, the relatives and uh, so far it's been a case of saying look this is what we're doing, we can show you what we're doing, where we're doing it, but you know no results so far. So hopefully we will be able to say when next we meet them well there is a result. And if they give you further results, so much the better. It may take several weeks for the DNA test to be completed and for the McElhone family to finally discover if the remains found in County Wicklow are indeed that of their loved one Danny. And as searches continue in the Wicklow Mountains, there's speculation that another body may be buried here. Jane Lockery, UTV Live.